Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here. Got a fun project for you here today. You're gonna to be changing out the water pump and the motor mounts in this Lincoln SA250. The other day I came out here to load it on the truck and I noticed the water pump was just kind of slowly leaking. So changing it out before it becomes a problem. <laughs> Is what that looks like with the hood off. You got the tank there, the air filter here, uh, you got that three cylinder Perkins up there. And uh, what I'm going to have to do now is go ahead and take off the radiator cover, which, if I remember right, is kind of a pain in the butt. Alright, once you have the six bolts on the bottom here uh, holding the radiator shroud on, you have to come back here and take the bolts. Uh, there's six of them, actually it looks like one of them probably vibrated loose down there, but there's six more bolts that hold the inner shroud on that have to come loose, and then this whole thing can kind of slide off. Yeah, I wish the drain on this, which is right down there was in a better location because whenever you go to drain this, it just ends up going everywhere. All right, so now I can actually gain access to the water pump here. I need to go ahead and loosen up the alternator and get this belt off here. And then I gotta go ahead and pull the fan off. And then somehow I've gotta get this pulley off. And I found out that whenever I ordered the water pump with this pulley, costs about $400 if you can actually find one because they're out of production so you got to be really really careful getting that pulley off there. So I didn't get lucky on this one. Uh, if you have not had one of these apart before, uh, the bolt, the way this Perkins is put together, uh, there are four bolts that hold the water pump on. And then I believe it's these two over here on this side uh, are just nuts, or are just bolts that go through this steel plate here uh, that bolts to the gear front gear case. Uh, so what I'm gonna have to do since this one, the nut or the stud is just spinning, I'm gonna have to take this plate loose. And uh, I did not order the gaskets for all this. So we'll see if we can get this whole deal here going without too much trouble. So I just have to take these off. And there might be one other bolt. Oh yeah, it's right back there. It's a major pain to get to. But uh, see if we can get this all apart here. Alright, so now what I gotta do is just take a big screwdriver like this and keep this bolt from turning to get this last one off here for removing the water pump. And once this is loose, I can go ahead and get this water pump off the plate, clean up the plate, and start getting the sucker back together. Out of there now the water pump should separate without any troubles. Yeah now I should be able to just take a screwdriver and pop the two of these guys loose. There we go. Yay, now I have the water pump loose. 